The gloves appear to be off, ladies and gentlemen. The most anticipated rap feud probably of the last decade appears to be finally here. Kendrick Lamar has a new verse on Future's new album, We Don't Trust You. On a record call like that, that boy K Dot went off, and I want to address a couple things before we do this feral lyrical miracle breakdown of Kendrick Lamar verse in the direction of somebody. In my opinion, this is not a J. Cole diss. I want to make that clear. This is also, though, not a Drake jab. This is an entire verse dedicated to dissing Drake from Kendrick Lamar. I wanted to make that clear before we read exactly what Kendrick, in my opinion, had to say about the boy. Dot said, these niggas talking out they next. Don't put no coffin out your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, let's get it, bro. D.O.T. The money power. Respect the last one is better. Say it's a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, ah, I hope the sentiment symbolic. My temperament bipolar. I choose violence. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up, but cannot be legit. No 40 water. Tell him, ah. Yeah, ha, huh? get up with me. Fuck sneak this. The first person shooter. I hope they come with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap this Melly Mel if I had to. Got two T's with me. I'm sat to chase and burning tattoos. It's up. Hey, lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If you walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just Big B. Nigga, Bob. <laughs> What? I'm really like that. And hey, your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlived Mike Jack. Nigga, bum! For all the dogs getting buried. That's a K with all these nines. He gonna see Pest Cemetery. Nigga, bum! <laughs> Kendrick Lamar just went hard at Drake. I have thoughts, but you gotta wait. To you hear a message from today's sponsor you're not gonna wish what to miss my thoughts if you are like me and love flexing your nba knowledge you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports that's underdog fantasy for me i love the pick'em game it's super simple to play too all you gotta do is go to the underdog fantasy website or app pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game get all your picks right and you can win up to 20 times your money and when you sign up, if you use my code Ferro, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy's website or app. Use my code Ferro, and your first deposit will get doubled. Do you want to see your favorite athlete live in action next time they're in your town? Or do you want to see your favorite artist performing in concert next time they're in a city near you? Head over to the SeatGeek website or app and use my code HOOPSFARO for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you subscribe to the Is Mr. Telefero YouTube channel. And hey, donate a super chat. Follow me on Facebook at Is Mr. Telefero. Cop a supporter badge. The Underdog Fantasy promo code is Ferro. The Seat Geek promo code is HOOPSFARO. And follow me on Twitter at It's Mr. Ferro. Okay, I'm going to put the verse back on the screen in a second. Again, check out Future's new album, We Don't Trust You. The record is called Like That. That was Kendrick Lamar's verse. I just want to paint a real quick timeline of Kendrick Lamar and Drake, though, for you. For any fan out there that's just not too familiar, Kendrick Lamar and Drake will go down as two of the greatest rappers of all time. Easily probably the two greatest of this decade. A lot with throw J. Cole right there in the mix. Okay, Kendrick and Drake, a lot of people believe have been throwing little subliminal jabs at each other for a long time. But ain't nobody really go out on the limb and say uncle until K-Dot just did. Now, this all culminates with Drake and J. Cole landing a number one record end of 2023. Biggest of what? And if you remember in that record, you know, J. Cole is acknowledging the greatness of not just himself, he believes he's number one, but also the greatness that is of Drake. And he also references Kendrick Lamar as well. Hence the big three that Kendrick Lamar said, ain't no big three, nigga. It's just a big B. But hold on, before we get into that verse, I want to say this. 
there's something going on behind the scenes and has been going on for quite some time between Drake on one side and Metro Boomin future. And I guess now I'll throw Kendrick Lamar in that mix. I have no earthly idea. This is rich people stuff. I don't know what's going on, but if you see some of the Drake jabs at Metro Boomin on social media, if you remember back on Drake's For All The Dogs album, there was a record called What Would Pluto Do, which was kind of weird to me because I was like, shit, Drake, it's your friend. You tell us what would Pluto do. He had a record called What Would Pluto Do on the album. We so used to getting the future features on Drake's album, but instead we got a record referencing Future's nickname Pluto. I don't know if that was Drake just trying to see if he and Future were cool or not. I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on. But now the biggest elephant is in the room and he's got something to say. I just want to put on your screen real quick this record one more time. These niggas talking out they necks. Don't pull no coughing out your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, let's get it, bro. DOT, the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say it's a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, ah, I hope them sentiments symbolic. A lot of goofies with a check. Obviously, goofies with a check. We can understand that Kendrick's saying there's a lot of goofies and lame dudes that's got money. I think there's a double entendre there. I think it's pretty clear. A lot of goofies with a check. Isn't Drake signed to Nike? Okay, that's that was my first Drake reference. My temperament bipolar. I choose violent. He's letting you know what time he's on. Okay, let's get it. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. See, even I think there's a little bit right there. This is just me, and I'm no rapper. You're going to want to listen to Joe Budden when he breaks this down. Don't you remember when Kendrick and Drake had that love bad bitches that my fucking problem? He's saying Drake's about to have to step these bars up if you tell me he, that there's a problem. Niggas clicking up but cannot be legit no 40 water. I mean, that's clear as day. A reference to Drake's main engineer, main producer, OVO 40. I mean, I don't think there's any fuck sneak diss and first person shooter was the name of Drake and J. Cole's number one record. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out fuck rap this melly mel if i had to he's just letting you know where i'm at with it right now i don't care about being cool with these dudes i'm the shooter and if they came to shoot at me they gonna need three switches got two t's with me i'm snatching chains and burning tattoos is up the patty and me wants to believe that that was kendrick playing off of the fact that drake got the tupac chain last year but i'm not even gonna go there lost too many soldiers not to play it safe if he walk around with that stick it ain't andre 3k they got won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just the big B. Obviously, at this point, he said, and I don't think this was a J. Cole diss record. I don't. But I, I do think he's saying, yo, J. Cole, we are not a big three. It is not Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is letting Drake and J. Cole know straight and down. It's a big me. I'm LeBron James. I don't care who y'all are. Y'all not D Wade and Chris Bosch. Okay. <laughs> You're Shane Battier. <laughs> You're Mario Chalmers. That's what you ought to be. I, I, that's how he's clearly coming. He said, and your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlived Mike Jack. What have we heard from Drake all of last year as he passed by Michael Jackson for the most number ones? All we've heard is Drake celebrate. Hell, in the first person shooter video, he's paying homage to Michael Jackson. Yes, Drake's got all the hits. We know he's going to be the statistical goat. We get that. That nigga Kendrick said, Prince outlived Mike Jack, nigga. <laughs> and he goes on to say, for all your dogs getting buried. I mean, come on now. We just referencing Drake's last album for all the dogs. That's a K with all these knives. He going to see the pet cemetery. I mean, nigga. All right, man. What are we, what are we doing here? And, and I, I, he went at him. That's not a Drake diss, a subliminal jab. That is a, I'm ready for smoke. Are you ready for these problems? Drake. And I want to put this out in the atmosphere because I love me some Drake. I want to make that clear. Drake, I love you, bro. But I don't want to hear no more Kanye West disses. He's an easy target. He's got a lot going on. I don't want to hear no more Pusha T references. Pushes him in that booth, but he just ain't got the fan base anywhere close to you. I'm not saying you got to go back at Kendrick Lamar because maybe you, wanna, you don't want to do that at this point in your life. 
but don't diss nobody else until you address that man. Until you say, uncle, leave everybody alone. I'm tired of these Kanye West disses. I don't want to hear no more of that. You wore it out. And it's starting to seem like you're bullying Kanye West. And that brings me to my next point. All right. For anybody out there that's not familiar with your boy Pharaoh and my upbringing. I had plugs in my head when I was a kid. Why the hell is that re relevant? It's relevant for a reason. I, I got used to people clowning me. They used to come to school and put glasses on the side of my head. I didn't get many haircuts. I'm fine. I, I got used to the checking and all that. I'm from Memphis. I, I grew tough skin. I, I dealt with it the best way I could deal with it. But what really bothered me when I was in school, after I got used to the checking, was when the big dog would come around. And the big dog would get checked by another big dog. And instead of checking back, big dog over here would rather check me. A, a little fish, a little pup. <laughs> no pun intended. I wasn't for all the dogs. All right? A little pup over here. They would come diss me. And I hated that because the bully didn't want to go back at the other bully. Kendrick Lamar is dissing you, Drake. Straight up and down. He dissed your catalog. He dissed your last album specifically. He says, forget all these Michael Jackson references. Prince outlived him. He's saying we ain't no big three. It's the big me. What do you have to say to this, Drizzy? That's the question that rap fans and, and people who cover this stuff and, and care about it entirely too much. People like me, we're wondering now, Drake, will you have something to say back to that man? Because that man came for you. He gave you an entire verse to let you know these are no more sublims. It's up and it's stuck. We ain't buddy, buddy. We ain't cool. And I have no earthly idea what sent Kendrick Lamar over the edge. I don't know if he just got frustrated at the mere sight of Drake and J. Cole running around with the number one record at the end of last year, running around on tour all of this year. Or is there something else going on? My belief is there's something else going on. When I heard it was Drake and Metro Boomin and possibly Future, I was just thinking maybe it was over a chick like everything else is. But I think maybe if Kendrick's involved, something deeper is going on behind the scenes. This feels like money is being lost somewhere behind the scenes because Kendrick is clearly coming back for his spot. All right? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this K-Dot verse in the direction of Drake clearly. The whole verse. The whole verse. And and. For the sake of this conversation, if you made it this far in the video, you're rocking out with your boy in the country that I'm producing. Let me know. Kendrick, Drake, a Cole. We're going to still put them in the category as a big three, even though Kendrick said, nigga, fuck a big three. It's a big me. We're going to still keep them in the conversation together. Maybe one last time. That's the options. Who's your guy? Kendrick, Drake, or Cole? Who's your guy for this generation? I'm on the record of telling y'all how I feel about this one in the past. Kendrick, best projects. Cole, best features. Drake, best singles. That's how I feel. Now, that's me copping the plea and not answering the question, but that's what I did. Y'all let me know, man. Do you guys think Drake will respond to Kendrick or not? Time, love, and support. Is what your boy would never take for granted. I don't know what the hell is going on behind the scenes, but that dude, Kendrick Lamar, said uncle. For real. Say uncle. Oh, man. Oh, man. And listen, we we putting it out in the atmosphere that we coming for the top spot. That's the energy that we own this summer. For all the young bulls, you don't got to kill every op that you got. All right, sometimes you got to let your op see your success. So, yes, I'm saying this is the, I like the energy that Kendrick's on. All summer, we letting, that, we, we letting the opposition know we feel like we number one. Damn it. Obviously, ain't nobody going to die behind this. This is just rap. This is just rap. So for all, all the young bulls out there, you got to learn how to live with the people that you don't, don't care sometimes and let them see your success. You got to kill them with success, not kill them for real. All right, time, love, and support. This is what your boy never take for granted. Salute. How about? I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs? When I believe I can build my own. You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been 
So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories. I talk music. I cover sports. I am culture. I am Pharaoh.